knew they were coming to take me. I cried the whole day, hoping the car would never come. But it came. I didn't even know where I was going, or who the people were. My parents simply said I had to go and work. We were so poor. My mother tried to make me feel better by saying that if I became a Kamlari, at least my brothers and sisters would have food to eat. I was a Kamlari for six years. I was sold when I was six years old. I became a Kamlari when I was 13. I was sent to work as a Kamlari at age 10, like my mother before me. My day started at four in the morning when the landlord's wife woke me up. I worked all day and into the night. The house I was sent to was barricaded with a fence and I wasn't allowed to go outside. Even though I wanted to run away, I couldn't. When girls like me become Kamlaris, we have to deal with a lot of violence, physical violence and sexual violence. I thought I would spend my whole life as a Kamlari. When they told me they would help me go back to school, that was the happiest moment of my life. If I'm given the chance, I'll continue to study for the rest of my life. I want to be a teacher. I want to free all the Kamlaris and make sure that they are sent back to school. My parents only paid attention to their sons. They only educated their sons. But I have changed this. I said to my parents, treat us all the same. Treat me the way you would treat your sons. And gradually, my mother and father have started to change. <laughs>